Hi guys, Righteous Rama here, author of Gaslit, Escape of the Narcissist Pit. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day from me to you and you and your lover. Also, if you're single, happy Singles Awareness Day. And this is a video for couples or individuals. I think it'll be very helpful. And this video is called Watcher Seeks Its Own Level. <laughs> Have you heard that before? Watcher Seeks Its Own Level. So sometimes when you're, you know, days like this pop up, you know, Valentine's Day, you go to a friend's wedding, you think in your head about, man, I'm single. You see negation pop up on Facebook, man, I'm still single. Well, here's um some, here's some, here's some, I won't say tips, but here's some ideas to think about. Watch her seeks its own level. What that means is people will find themselves leveling out with people that are like them, Okay. So people will find themselves leveling out people like them. So let's say I would pour water. Let's say somebody poured like, you know, two tons of water in my living room, in my apartment. Okay. So the water, it, you would not see areas where the water is up like this, at this angle, and water at this angle, and water down here. All the water, when it all finishes splashing or sloshing around, will all level out because water seeks its own level. Okay. Um, and so that's why, that's how I interpret it to me. And if, if it's raining outside, if you're outdoors, you know, water tends to go to, you know, I just say sea level. Okay. So what that means is if you're single, let's go to single people. If you're single, you will tend to gravitate towards and attract people that are on your level. For example, if you do hard drugs like methamphetamines or crack cocaine, you will find yourself in circles, in spaces, in places, in trap houses, in meth houses, where everyone is doing the same thing you're doing. You won't find too many meth heads dating totally sober, clean people. You won't find too many alcoholics dating people who don't drink at all. You will find some with alcoholism, but not too many with, like, drugs, okay? You find, if you know a person who's very into a lot of kinky stuff, into a lot of kinky, you know, sex acts, they won't be with the person who's too straight. Like they want to be with the person. Like if they're a swinger, they're gonna be with another swinger, of course, because you can't swing by yourself. Um, you know, people who are super devout Christians tend to be with people who are Christians. So people like water seeks its own level. So my suggestion is that if you are single, don't go too hard dating people if they're not where you're trying to be or go. For example, let's say you want to be, and I see this all the time with like celebrities, or whatever. They have like this. You see that their high school sweetheart that they took a prime picture with, and then when they hit like the end, like the NBA or NFL, or they become like a, a, a um, have a multi million dollar rap contract. They tend to start dating people who are celebrities like them, or people who are on their like they start dating people who are on their level financially and celebrity wise. And the, then the, the the then the the um, prime date that they had is no longer glorious enough for them she's too simple she don't have the implants and the facial fillers and the you know the exotic look that they were used to when they were in the hollywood parties or whatnot so if you're single i would suggest that you do not pursue too hard people that are at a level that you're currently at but you're trying to leave you're at a level currently but you're trying to leave the level so that happened to me before um, you know, I've been dating, you know, people, you know, I like, I was dating, you know, people who were kind of, I don't want to say street level people, but they were people, you know, who, who were very, they're from the streets or they're from the hood or whatever. So, you know, here I am going to, going to college, undergrad, and then I'm seeing these other, I'm like, oh, these fraternity boys are kind of attractive. And these, you know, these engineer or architect or, you know, people in these other types of tracks and, um, doctor and lawyer track are kind of attractive. I didn't notice the type of guys and I was. Memphis City School System, now it's the Shelby County School System. And so, if I would have committed to a guy that was from the streets in Memphis, I I would have, I would have, I would have, I probably would have lost attraction to him. Then, I, you know, Dennis, I was in this atheist, okay, at one time, many, many years ago. Then I went to seminary, and I'm around these seminarians and these pastors, and I think I had a bishop in my class, and these different, you know, people in the ministry and everything, and my professors, all, you know, you know, studious Christian people, and the atheist didn't, he didn't appeal to me no more. Not saying he was less than me, I'm just saying 
you know, it just didn't level out. Okay. Then I got into the doctoral program to be a pastoral counselor. And I was dating somebody at the time. And I was like, I was like, it's just, it just, I was like, he's just, it's not, it's just not going to fit. Like, it's not going to fit. It won't fit. Where, where he, that guy was at, it wouldn't fit where I was going. Okay. And so I was like, and so we broke up. It just, I was around my classmates, my cohorts, and I'm like, I was like, and I'm hearing about their spouses and their lives and their ministries, and I'm like, this person, his lifestyle, it won't even fit. It won't even make sense where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just won't make sense. Water seeks his own level. He had different habits and everything, you know, and, and ways about his lifestyle that wouldn't have fit where I'm going. So don't be sad that you are alone this valentine's day some of you all are going to a different level some of you all are getting clean off of drugs or alcohol some of y'all are getting saved and leaving the sinful worldly life set some of you all are getting educated and the person that you're with right now is going to be some of them are going to be jealous of you they're going to be intimidated by you thinking you think you better than me you think you better than me i knew a lady who's getting her doctorate in teaching and her husband started to try to sabotage her um he's very jealous of her well i'm sorry actually she she got her master's he was trying to he was trying to sabotage and go against her from getting her masters. They were high school sweethearts. And um and then she wouldn't even tell him that she's in a doctoral program because she's like, if he tried to get me then, you know, really say give me now. She wouldn't even tell him that she's in a doctoral program because she know how he got on her when she got her bachelor's and her masters. He turned on her, tried to turn his family against her and everything. And tried to turn the kids against her. So, you know, no, I'm sorry, tried to the family against her. Yeah, the family against her. So be careful who you line up with. You need to know where God is taking you. Get to get new, new, you to know where God is taking you because water seeks to live. And you hear about all these people having affairs, like they'll give it a person that's on a high school sweetheart. Then they start going up in the ranks. So they say they're just they not in college. They say they just they started off as the receptionist and now they're the CEO of their office. No degree, college degree, degree required. They just they went on up in their office and then they start to have this the, the president. Of the office looks very attractive now to their husband, their home father at the house, who have, who may have a job that's not as as as, 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 as fa fabulous, no longer looks attractive to them, and they're like they have affairs with the people at their job, or same with church, and affairs with people at church. You know what I'm saying? So water seeks its own level. So some of you all are single, and it's a good thing because you're not gonna set up. You're gonna be with somebody who's on a different water level, well not water level, somebody on a different level than you. And you're going to find people on your level. And some people, you're going you're gonna to be with somebody. You're going to be faithful to them. But they're going to, they're going to end up cheating on you because you think you are there. You think you're better than me because you went to school because you got to disagree because I watch the TV show Cheaters happen all the time. Um, um, I saw, well, I ain't going to lie. I saw it back two or three times with a man. The woman left them, well, maybe three, maybe four or five times with a woman got a raise at her job and she started having a fear with, the, with her balls. I was a man so going to college or going to school. He looked down at the girl who paid his way through school. He said, "You a street girl? You a hood girl? I'm, I'm running these educated girls, these 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 you know these these you know these um polished girls." And so it, it could be cheated on if you're the bottom person or the top person. You see people in that way. So yes, you all. Um, water seeks its own level. And so I'm 38 years old, single. You know, always mingling, but I'm single. <laughs> um, always somebody in the woodworks, I was somebody in the pipeline, but I'm officially single, and I'm trying to date on a level where I'm trying to go. Not just where I'm at, where I'm trying to go. If I can't see you fitting in my future, in my ministry, in my career, and I see you're going to be a hater on me, you're going to be trying to sabotage me, beat me down, I'm not going to be with you because water seeks its own level. I got to be with somebody who's going to be, not saying I'll be praying, going to be perfect. No one's, someone's going to make more money, someone's going to be more educated, someone's going to make have a better, you know, title, whatever. It's not about, like, perfectly equal. It's just saying it got to be around the same. You know, even water, even water slots it around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't water ain't perfectly flat all the time. But you can't be nobody, you can't be up here and ain't somebody down here. Beyonce's not dating somebody down here. She dating Jay-Z, a billionaire. You see what I'm saying? Got to find, and if you don't, you're going to find a lot of disparity, a lot of tension there, a lot of contrast there. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. Happy Singles Awareness Day, you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.